happy to help you out. More than happy. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We in here live about to make a call. You got a special guest today, Mr. TBT himself. Ah. What is it? TB, 2B, what is it called? Too blessed to be stressed. Too blessed to be stressed. TBS blessed stress. That's, yes. That. And we got... Daedra 2X in the building. Rocking that pink. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Fresh Start Investors, LLC. Ernest Stunk. You stunk? Damn, you said you stunk like that? What kind of name is that? Input, output. We're going to be in Tennessee. Uh, all right. Oh, you're going to be in Tennessee for the event that I'm doing in March of 2020? I'm going to get to meet you, Josh? Oh, man. I'll see you there, if that's what you're talking about. If you didn't know, we're going to be uh, doing a live... Uh, what is it called? A retreat. A three-day, four-night retreat. Something like that. What's up, Andrea? Down in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, March 5th through the 8th of 2020. Coming up soon. So I'm about to make a call today, though, on this beautiful house. Beautiful house. Dude that spent over $50,000 renovating it. Let's see if we can get him on a terms deal. You never know. Do you believe in me or you think I'm going to mess it up? Because I'm going to mess it up. I ain't messing up nothing. I'm going to call him. Now, where did he go here? I thought I just had his phone number up a second ago, and I pressed too many buttons. Pressing buttons. There he is. Let's see here. Call him. But other than that, let's see here. It's Maxine that you emailed earlier. Oh, hey, Maxine. Oh, no problem. I'm glad I was able to help you out. See, Fresh Start Investors LLC is Maxine. Okay. All right, yes, for the event you're doing. You and your girlfriend already planning it? Cool, cool. I see you, Josh. You're going to be down there. Good. That's right. That's right. Come on down. Take your girlfriend out to something nice to the Smoky Mountain. Now, y'all don't be up in that cabin making too much noise. <laughs> don't be in that cabin. You know what I mean, man? I'm watching you, man. <laughs> y'all off the train for laughing at that. <laughs> so, all right, enough of the buffoolery. Let's get somebody on the phone, I guess. Let's see here. What number I want to call him from? I guess I can call him from the same number. Do I want to call him from the same? I guess I can call him from the same number I already spoke to him on. You appreciate me adding value? Well, that's what I do every day. How can I add value to you? That's what I always ask. I shouldn't have called him from this number, but oh well. Because if he don't answer, he's going to call it back, and I'm not able to answer it. Because the, the virtual system's going to have it. on my voice. What's up, Diamond Angel? Share it out. Share it out. Like it. Heart it. Tap it. He ain't even gonna answer after all that. I knew he wasn't gonna answer. You have reached the ball. And the problem is, he gonna see that call missed, and he gonna call that number back. And I can't answer that phone, because that phone goes straight to them. I know I should have called from the other number. So let me try from my other number, so he can be like, oh, I missed your call. Let me try this another way. I shouldn't have did it that way anyway. Screw that it. But you're doing well, that's good. Diamond Angel 13. Lucky number 13, huh? Okay. Let me see here. Let me call him from my... Pretty house number. I got a number dedicated to pretty houses. And that was the number I should have called him from. So when he does call back, it comes straight to this phone versus to the virtual assistants all the way in the Philippines. And for those who don't know, my name is Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. We talking some real estate talk and about to walk that walk. Let's call him again from this number. 314. I know he's like, who the hell blowing my phone up? Number look familiar though. Like, you know, some numbers look like a number I dialed before. What's up, Ernesto? Your favorite friend is here. <laughs> and we got Nick joining us. What's going on, y'all? Everybody over here just doing something. Let's see here. So. Trying to get to that bag. That's right. You going to the uh, faster house tonight, Ernesto? You going to be out there? You don't go out that far though. I know you like Illinois stuff. I don't know. I think, didn't we see him out there one time? No. Mm. Oh, okay. Maybe him already else. All right, let's try to call him again. I'll try to give him a few minutes so it's not like I'm blowing his phone up. Let's give him a call. This time I'm going to leave a voicemail because I don't want to mess this up. That's one to connect to three. Well, hello there. Come on, man. 
I'm gonna leave him a voicemail. Hello, Sean. My name is Chris. You spoke to my assistant earlier in regards to your house out on Catlin Court. Um, I'm actually the one that's interested in buying it, and uh, I wanted to come back and uh, answer your questions if you had some and see how we can work something out so we can get that house sold. You can give me a call back at 314. You can text me on this number or call. Either one is perfectly fine. 314 Again, my name is Chris, and I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you. Now, you notice I always tell them they can text or call back. Either one is perfectly fine with me because I want them to know that if you don't, if you feel embarrassed or, you know, sometimes I'm talking to people and they're like, I don't really want to talk or I'm busy or what's up or what you think, or, they can text me because I'm going to keep those lines of communication going. Doesn't that make sense? It makes total sense, right? Text me, call me, email me, whatever it takes because all I really need is your email and I see this paperwork. We ain't got to talk too much. Really, I do need three things from him because this particular house here is free and clear. So we got to determine how much down, how much for the price, how much per month, and then uh, also we need to figure out how long of a term because if he's willing to do it, we want to buy this house and create a seller finance type deal. Now, in a seller finance type deal, we would take the deed to the property. We would actually be deeded on the property. He would own a note just like the bank. Now, if that doesn't work and he's like, no, I don't really want to deed it over to you. I want to keep the deed because I don't know if you're going to pay and I don't trust you guys or whatever kind of funky stuff like that. We would go ahead and switch it out and say, you know what? We can do a lease with the option to buy. How about that? That's a weaker position. I usually don't want to take that position, but it can be taken. I mean, you know, I just want control of the house. Because let me see. I'm going to pull up the house and let you see what it looked like. You're going to say, oh, my, that's a nice house. I want that for me to live in. Good night. Can I live in that house myself? It's a split level, gorgeous house. Uh, he's been trying to sell it for over 200 days, so he's probably about motivated by now. Um, let's see here. He renovated it. He said he put about 200,000, oh, I'm sorry. He put about $50,000 in renovations into this house. Let me let you see what it looked like. Beautiful house. Find something wrong with it. Hold on, let me open the pictures big. Big pictures, if I can do it. Big pictures, I say it. Well, nevertheless, we're going to do little pictures. So this is the house. Everything looked good. It's even got the air conditioner up off the ground. they tell you something. They got the air conditioner lifted. Make it hard for uh, you to want to kind of steal it or something. I guess that's what they do. It's partially furnished. And uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this dude off the chain. What was you doing? What you doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> made up a whole thing. Y'all off the chain. So uh, he's got granite. And everything else on here has been on Zillow for 211 days. So, that means he needs to get this house off the books. And so, I got a way to help him out if he's willing to be cooperative. So, hopefully he calls back. Or if he don't call back, we'll reach him when we reach him. I think I got somebody else to call. I should have just had a whole list of people ready to call like I normally would do. So, I need him. Who else needs a call? Anybody nearby? Hmm. Hmm. Who is that? Nope. Who is that? Oh, I got a stack over here. One second. Let me go get, get you somebody else to call. Needs a call. Needs an offer. Everybody get an offer, right? Everybody gets an offer. That's right. If you come in contact with them, you give them an offer. Even if it's they're going to say no, let them say no and follow up with them. Put them up in a follow-up sequence. So this guy here is down in Arnold. I spoke to him back in, oh, man, this is quite a while back. Hope this house is still available. Back in September. Uh, let me see if I can get him on the phone. Real estate skates and things. What up? What up? How you doing? You ready? You still got your, uh, your hoodie sweater that you got? You still been rocking it? Well, today it was about, what, almost 60 degrees here in St. Louis, so you couldn't wear a hoodie here. It'd be hot, too hot to try. How you been? All right, so let's get this guy on here with this 713 area code. He lives in Texas, I believe. But this house is here in St. Louis. Let's get him on the phone here. Hey, Thomas, no time, no here. He's going to be like, huh? He lives in Houston, what my notes say on here. Please press 1 to connect to 7... 
sent him an email offer, but I think he didn't get it. H Town, that's right. Is this Thomas? Yeah. Hi, this is Chris up in St. Louis. Uh, I spoke to you a little a few weeks ago about your house on Sunny Ridge. Is it still available? Uh, oh, 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 you said you're going to be coming in town for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it is still available, though? Oh, yeah. I haven't sold it yet. Okay, yeah. The offer was pretty low, I think. I need to uh, shop it around a little more before I yeah, well, do something like that. Oh, that so you, seems very low compared to what the neighbor sold his for. Oh, okay. So you did see, you did receive the offer? Yeah. Okay. So what did you have in mind as far as pricing? What do you think is good for you? I think it's something close to 200 grand, 190, 195, something in there. Right, right. Uh, See, you're flipping the house. You've got, you got to buy it wholesale. I'm trying to sell retail. I'm not in that big of a hurry. Well, we can actually buy it on a retail price. The only thing is, if we were able to do something like that, we would just ask for a little bit of time to pay you off in full. Would you consider taking a monthly payment for it until we paid you how, off in full? How, for how long? Well, we usually get a... Uh, uh, you know, we try to make it as a short time so you're not, you know, not holding it forever. But uh, what's the longest amount of time you could give? Six months. Woo! Yeah, that would be pretty quick. We usually uh, the shortest yeah, no, time. No, I'm not interested. In, I'm not interested in being a bank. Right, right. Well, you know, you can sell it for more money that way, though. You but know. Doesn't matter. You remember, you did. But, but, but the time, money has a time value. Time has a money value. I'm 66 years old. Right, I'm right. I'm not interested in being a playing bank. Right. But what right. you're doing is you're just looking at the time value of money too. It makes it sound like you're getting more. Well, it takes us so long to get it, you know, so it's not yeah. really getting any more. Usually we put something yeah, off for like, usually we do like three to five years on average. I mean, it usually doesn't even take that yeah. long, though. But, I mean, six months would probably yeah, be no. too short. Um, and so, yeah. so what did you yeah. think about the cash offer on it? It was too low. Right, right. And so you were thinking around 200 cash? That would, you want to be around that point? 190 to 200, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But here again, you know, I, I, I got to do a little more homework, too. How would you? I've been thinking about selling it, and you were the first one, so I looked at that number, and I said, I think it's lower than what they were asking for the one next door last year. Yeah, that's because that's a cash price. When we buy a house for cash, we don't pay retail for it. You, you understand that, right? We, you know, we just want to make a little right, game. We're not trying to... I want retail, I, yeah, I want the retail buyer, he can go get cash in the bank. If I can compare you to, because cash is the same to me. Right, Your right. cash is no different than somebody else that has to go to the bank and get a mortgage. Right, right. That makes sense. And so, uh, for our yeah. terms offer, though, it looks like I sent you about two thirty. That's more than what more than two hundred. That's over what you were asking, right? Two hundred and thirty is what? Yeah, that's what it, that's what I have on my notes here. Unless I sent you something different. Did I send you something? Oh different? yeah, yeah, or five years or something. No, no. Come on, I'm, I'm not an idiot. I, I I don't want the risk of not collecting my money. Right, right. So we we do everything. Yeah, you're so, just spending the same kind of money out of your pocket, whether it's two thirty or, or I forget the other offer. The cash offer was what, one forty five or something? Uh, one fifty five. Same to you. Yeah, one fifty five. Yeah, one fifty five cash because you know, like I said, that yeah. would be you know, like we say, money does yeah. have a value, and we can pay more for it if you were able to give a little bit of time on it. But like I said, six months would All be right. pretty short. I mean, is that the longest you yeah. can give as far as timing? Yep, yep, yep. At this stage, that's the longest. Yep. Right. Okay. And so, um, what kind of time were you looking at? Because I can, you know, I'm going to do a little more research and see if we can come a little closer to where you are. Oh, I'm going I'm to take a look up at Christmas and see what the, what, what's going on up there in the market when I go up for Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd love to meet you when you come in town. Will you give me a call when you come in? We'll see. I got lots of family business to attend to. Oh, I might have had you a little small gift. You didn't even know it was coming, see? No, 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 no. <laughs> So he didn't want the gift. I know it. Uh, all right. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> he said, no, no, no. He is not.
playing, what'd you say? He's wrong. There is a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. He said he's just not interested in being a bank because he's 66 years old. And I get that objection a lot of times when it comes to terms because if they're older, you know, they don't know how long it's going to be before they take that dirt nap. So you don't want to have them, you know, stretched out for a long period of time. What did you think about that, that call there, uh, Nick? He knows. He's not motivated. That that sounds like a rich person. Exactly. What do you think, Deidre? I think you should just follow up with him a little bit later. He might be a little bit more motivated soon. Yeah, you never know. Follow up. The fortunes are in the follow up. Did y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Because I'm about to roll out. He was not playing. Wait, is that the name that you that you just called no, that was a different somebody. person. Yeah, okay. yeah, I don't know. yeah, that was a different person. This was some. This was a follow up from September twentieth. I didn't even know he received the offer. Oh. So let me put on here he received it because he didn't write nothing back. Right. And when I called him before, he didn't answer. So I just called him again. I think he know what he want exactly. He want a million dollars, and I want it all cash, and I want it, and it ain't got to be fast. He said six months. Well, give me six months then. Hell, I should have took it. Let me see. Offer sent. Follow up. So you got to have your little system like that. Put all your papers. Everybody got somewhere to go. Offer sent. Follow up. Needs an offer. Currently in negotiations. Viewing schedule. We got a viewing. What's the, what time is it? Oh, snap. We're supposed to have a viewing today. Huh, I missed it. It's supposed to be a viewing at 345. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, well. She didn't call me back anyway. I got to call her. Let me see if we can still go view this house. Or is it too late? The new office is dope. Thank you. Let me call this lady back. Dang, we supposed to have a view of the house today. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm over here. I didn't see you. Uh -huh. no, Is that janky? <laughs> Is that janky to be like, yeah, I'm over here at the house, and I don't see you, so I'm going to go on and go. Act like I was at the house. Today, Thursday, right? Yeah, we supposed to been there at 345. Damn. She finna be like, oh, yeah, was, were we still going to be able to see the house today? Watch this. I'm going to do a straight face, fake it out. Do you offer those follow-up sheets? Yeah, everything that I use, every system that I use, everything is all at WokeRealEstate.com. The link's in the description or in the bio here on IG. WokeRealEstate.com. So, yeah, these sheets here, this is like just a, a basic information sheet. It gathers all the information I want to know about the house in one place where I can see. It matches up with our Podio system, so it's the same stuff on there that's on there. So when the virtual assistants gather that, that basic information, like the initial call just to get, you know, what kind of repairs you need, why, how much you're selling for, all that little basic mumbo jumbo comes right in on the podio. We transfer it to a paper sheet, and then we can uh, operate from there. WokeRealEstate.com is the website, and I update it and refine it and make it better every time I get a chance. So let's see if we can get this lady on the phone here real quick. I was trying to get off of here with y'all, but y'all don't get an extra sneak call in today. Let's see here. Bloop. I'm going to say, yeah, what happened, Julie? We're over here at the house. She's going to be like, I don't see you. Are we still going to be able to see it today? Hi, yes, uh, Julie. Yeah. Hi, yes, this is Chris. I spoke to you the other day about your house on Bendick. How are you? Okay, how you doing? I'm pretty good. I was just uh, following up with you, see if we're still going to be able to see the house today. Uh, we had made an appointment for 345. Right. Right, I was there. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was, I was there. I waited until 10 after 4. Oh, wow. I'm sorry about that. Uh, when is the next time you'll be going over? Um... Well, where, where were you? <laughs> were you sitting outside? No, I just didn't. I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I, I didn't even, uh, I didn't see you. I just thought that you wasn't here. It, what is, oh, hold on. Hang on, I gotta put my dog in. Oh, yeah, they're, they're making noise there, huh? The pooches. I told you, you can make us, you can mess up every day, just like me. I missed the whole appointment. He takes exception to it when other dogs walk in front of our house. Oh, what kind do you have? Um, <laughs> the noisy one's a cocker spaniel, and the quiet one is an American Eskimo dog. Oh, you got a quiet one and a no noisy one, huh? 
Really? Oh, wow. Well, at least they get along. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah, I can, uh, no. let me see. I'm only back over here. Let's see here. I'm back by the airport now, or I can come back down either today or tomorrow. It's probably kind of late today, though, huh? Kind of dark. Yeah, I'm home. I don't go back out once I get home. <laughs> yeah, so I can just catch you on another day. What, what next day will you be uh, on that route? I go by there every day on my way home from work. Okay, so let's see. Tomorrow's Friday, and you said about, we want to try the same time tomorrow? Uh, if you're going to be there. Yep, I'll be there with red shoes on. Okay. All right, so we got you down for Friday the 22nd at 345. I'll be there earlier than that. I'll even be there. I'll, I'll sit on your porch to make sure I can't miss you. All right, thank you. I'll see you then. All right, bye-bye. Damn. See, that's how you play it off right there. I missed the whole appointment. You see, while well, all y'all be thinking about, I'm going to make a mistake. I make mistakes every day. Don't I tell you that all the time, Danger? I make mistakes every day. Why didn't she call? Exactly. It don't make sense. I would be like... I wouldn't have made it no way because it's all on the other side of town in the middle of rush hour and all that, and I'm good. So we'll just see you tomorrow. We'll see you before you sleep me. So that's what you do. You just go on ahead and try to get it right, make it right. She's like, oh, where were you? Mm, I don't know. Wasn't nowhere near there. But, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see you tomorrow, baby. I don't know. Yeah, she should have called to verify as well. Yeah, that's why I like making appointments like that. And this was made like three days ago. You might have saw the live on here. I'm like, you know, I don't remember this stuff. I don't even make appointments. Matter of fact, when I tell people my appointment is... We're going to shoot for this time, and I'll call you when I'm on my way, or something like that. I don't like to just have a blanket time and, you know, trying to remember. She had a sense of humor, though. Yeah, she had a good sense of humor, so she seems pretty cool. So what I'm going to do here now, ooh, damn, I make 345? I got a 2 o'clock appointment tomorrow myself. I'm up here talking about making a 345. We'll see. Um, let's put it in my calendar so I remember. Dang, missed the whole appointment. You wrong for that. Y'all didn't remind me. I'm blaming y'all over here on IG. Yep, you saw that lie. Langston buys houses. You didn't remind me. You didn't send me a message and say, hey, you know you got an appointment today. Don't forget. But I'm going to play it off anyway. <laughs> so I got two appointments tomorrow. Good night. So let me put in here Friday the 22nd, 3.45 p.m. What's her name? Julie. At least it's in the city where I'm going to be at anyway. Um, put the address in here so I don't have to remember. And there we go. I set a reminder. Add a reminder. How many? Uh, you say, yo, bad. Yeah, no problem. It happens. We all make mistakes, you know. So I'm going to put in here one hour before. I want to get an email and a phone notification. Email. Repeat. Boom. Saved. Voila. Got you tomorrow. I. Right. So 3.45 tomorrow, Central Standard Time, we gonna go live at Julie House. No, no we not. I have, I did go live on uh, God the other day, or not live, but I videoed it, but I'm gonna post it up on the YouTube channel. If you're not following me on YouTube, you sleep. Go to Chris Monroe STL on YouTube. Got a video I'm going to be posting up tonight. And I got over 100 training videos on real estate for free. How about that? For free. Talking about subject to wrap around mortgages, lease options, all this funky stuff. Virtual wholesaling, how you do it, how you speak to people, talking to people, live selling calls, all that crap on the YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL. You got anything else to say, Nick? Uh, no, go out there and kill it, y'all. Consistency is key. Just make sure you out there trying to do your best. All right. What about you, Deidre? What he said. What he said? He's supposed to have some, too. Oh, my gosh. So, let me flip my camera again. How do you flip this thing? I don't know how to flip it. Here we go. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Yeah. <laughs>